Welcome back to another Decade of Action Challenge video. If you haven't seen the other videos, please watch till the end and you can see the playlist there, or you can subscribe below to keep up to date on the latest challenges. So have you ever wondered what is happening to your money when it's in a bank? You might think that you put your money in your bank and it's sat there waiting for you to use. This is not the case. It's actually being used by the bank to finance other projects, other companies and investments, stuff like that, while you're waiting to withdraw it. So where is the bank putting this money? Well, thankfully there is a very useful website and it can show you exactly what is happening with your money and where it's being invested and if you actually agree with where it's being invested. So let's have a look at BankTrack. I'm going to look at Santander because that's who I used to bank with. So if you go to Google and enter BankTrack and we want BankTrack.org which you can see at the top there so select that and then we arrive at the home page and you can see uh, it's not optimised very well for mobile phones so you might be better to do this on your own uh, laptop or computer but you can see at the top is the search icon so I'm going to search Santander and it will bring up the page for Santander and all of its results. If we scroll down you can see various news articles that it's been involved in. So what I normally do is I select the top option so I'm going to tick select where it says Banco Santander Spain. And this page brings up all the basic information for Santander, uh, when it was established, its website, etc. But we want to look at any dodgy deals it's involved in. And we know it's involved in some because there's a dodgy deals option at the top. If it wasn't, it probably wouldn't have that dodgy deals tab there. You can see there's also a map as well. So um, we're going dodgy deals. And we can see various articles that it's been involved in here. But what I particularly like is the map. This will show slightly different on the web page version um, and the dodgy deals map will be linked to that specific bank. But on your phone you have to select the actual bank. So I've selected uh, Banco Santander and you can see the various dodgy deals that it's doing across the uh, across the globe. Um, you can select various uh, industries it might be involved in and I presume this is all the industries that it is involved in as the others are uh, greyed out. So let's just um, go back. Let's just randomly select one. So I selected one of the pins um, which was located in Indonesia and it appears to be for a business called April that Santander are investing in. And if we scroll down, we can have a look at what this company is involved in. So it's the pulp and paper sector. If you can scroll down and you can read more about it, um, about the business itself and its later developments. And then here at the bottom, why why is this profile been highlighted as a dodgy deal and you can see all the various um reasons why and i'm just just something caught my eye human right abuses and the clearing of biodiverse rainforests in indonesia so this is just a very quick example of one bank i would advise if you're interested in this sort of thing go to bank track and search for your bank and um, see what your bank are involved in. So that was just one example of one business that my old bank, Santander, were investing in. And does that fit in with my morals today? I was indirectly contributing towards deforestation and climate change and just the disruption of the planet, which I obviously don't want to do. I don't want to be financing that if I had a choice. So what can you do about this? Well, there are several uh, ethical banks that you can move to. 
These ethical banks tend to uh, invest in the community, charities and renewable energy projects. So if that's more in line with where your morals are, then I would suggest looking at these banks. Um, rated best is at the top, Triodos, and then the okay but not, not as brilliant as Triodos at the bottom, um, so Nationwide. I personally am now with Nationwide. I was with the co-op, um, but they didn't quite fit in with my lifestyle. I really struggled with their opening times. So make sure that if you are going to choose from one of these banks that it fits in with your lifestyle. So have a good Christmas if I don't catch you before. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with the latest planet saving techniques. And until next time, take care.